morning, children. It's Pastor Alyssa. Welcome to Stepping Stones for this morning. I'm so glad that you're here. As you can see, today I'm back in our nursery. We haven't been here for so long. It's sort of fun to be in here, isn't it? You might see the horse that some of you love playing with and the rocking chair and our rug that we always sit on. So I thought I would record our story here today and say hello to you from our old space. So wherever you are, probably at home, I am so glad you're here and joining us this morning. Let's start by singing our welcome song. It's good to be together, it's good to be together, it's good to be together and give thanks to God. Will you sing with me? It's good to be together, together, together. It's good to be together and give thanks to God. Good job, let's sing it one more time. It's good to be together, together, together. It's good to be together and give thanks to God. It is good to be together. Today we're going to be continuing our creation story. You might remember that last week we read about the first, let's see, we read about the first day and the second day of creation. Do you remember this page? Today we're going to add another page to what we read, all right? So we are going to read about the third day. So let's read. On the first day of creation, can you make a one? On the first day of creation, the wind of God blew. <sighs> Wish. Whoosh, swish. Can you do that with me? Whoosh, whoosh, swish. And God said, let there be light. Crackle, boom, bang. Can you do that? Crackle, boom, bang. And there was light, and God saw that the light was good. Then... Split! God divided the light from the darkness into day and night. On the second day, can you put up a two? On the second day, God said, let there be a sky. Pillow, pillow, puff. Can you do that with me? Pillow, pillow, puff. There was a sky and God saw that the sky was good. All right, let's read about the third day. Look at this page. What do you see on this page? There's so many colors. I wonder what you see on this page. On the third day, God said, let there be water and dry land. Drip, drop, kerplunk. And there was water. And then Crackle, crunch, snap, there was dry land, and God saw that the water and the dry land were good. Then God said, let there be plants and trees like this. Rustle, pop, rumble. There were plants and there were trees, and God saw that the plants and the trees and the flowers were good. That was the third day. All right, we're going to stop there, and we'll keep reading the creation story next week. I wonder what your favorite part of this page is. So many colors on here. There's flowers, and water, and sun, and moon, and stars. And God made all of that. And God said that it was good. Since we read about the stars, I wonder if we should sing one of our songs about the stars. Do you know the song Twinkle Twinkle? 
Let's sing that song. Get your stars ready. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. God made the stars and the sun and the moon, and God made the water and the land. God made all those plants and trees and flowers. And you know what? God also made you. So today, we are going to read from this book. And the book is called When God Made You. When God made you, 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 when God made you, God made you all shiny and new, an incredible you, a you all your own, a you unlike anyone else had ever known. An exclusive design, one God refined, you were perfectly crafted one of a kind. Because when God made you, Somehow, God knew that the world needed someone exactly like you. You, you, God thinks about you. God was thinking of you long before your big debut. From the very beginning, amid history and time, you, little one, never left God's mind. Because when God made you, this much is true, the world got to meet who God already knew. Look at the little girl. She's riding her bike. And all these different kinds of people. Look at all those kinds of people. God made all of them. You, you, when God sees you, God delights in what is and sees only what's true. That you, yes you, in all of your glory, bring color and rhythm and rhyme to God's story. Oh, I wonder what this little girl is doing. What do you think she's doing? Because hmm. God loves you creating, your true self displaying, when light on the inside through art is portraying, when you make believe, the stories conceived, the heroics, the magic, those tricks up your sleeve. You, you, when God dreams about you, God dreams about all that in you will be true. Ooh, look at all those colors. A dreamer who dreams in big and small themes, one who keeps dreaming in journeys upstream. A builder of bridges, you the peacemaker, a you who views others as sisters and brothers and lives by three words, love one another. A confident you, strong and brave too. Look at this. You being you is God's dream coming true. Because when God made you, all of heaven was beaming over you. God was smiling and already dreaming. Oops. The end. I wonder what your favorite part of that story is. I wonder what colors you liked the most and what pictures you liked the most. I love seeing this little girl getting to be so creative because it reminds me of, kind of reminds me of God, how creative God was. 
Well, good job listening to our story. Thank you for being so attentive. What we're going to do now is do our prayer. So we're going to do another whisper prayer this week. I want to invite you to take your hands and to um, say anything that you want to God. You can whisper um, a prayer for someone else, or you could whisper a prayer for yourself. You could tell God thank you for something, or you could ask God to do something. So I want you to take your hands like this and say any prayer you want to God, and then when you're done, you're going to close your hands and we're going to send our prayers up to God. So will you pray with me? Okay. Will you finish saying your prayer? When you're done, you can put it in your hands, and on the count of three, we're going to say amen. Can you say it with me? One, two, three. Three. Amen. Nice job. Children, it's been so good to be with you this morning hearing about the story of creation. Next week, we'll keep hearing more of that story. I'm so, so glad that you joined us this morning. Before you go, I want to give you your blessing and then invite you to bless someone else in your house too. So, child of God, remember that God made you. Can you trace a cross on your forehead? God made you. And now I want you to practice giving your blessing to someone else in your home. Or if you have some stuffed animals with you in Stepping Stones today, you can bless your stuffed animals. God made you. You want to practice on your stuffed animals or you can bless someone else in your house. Remember, God made you. Thank you so much for joining me and my friends this morning for Stepping Stones. I'll see you next week. Bye, children.